Old school and today's R&B 95.5 on a Cat Williams last chance winning weekend. What up, y'all? Tony Scott on a very cold Saturday in the low. You know the drill. If it's too cold, then stay inside. If you're going to go outside, put on something. <laughs> How hard is that? That's not hard, is it? <laughs> I was reading about Prince's uh, If I Was Your Girlfriend. What You what, you just heard it, right? And I, I forgot TLC did a version on that on the uh, Crazy Sexy Cool CD they put out in the night. And Tupac actually sampled a live version of the song for uh, Thugs Get Lonely 2, right? He recorded it like in the 90s, but Prince was like, no, nah, you can't have it. You can't, you can't release it because it's a sample. I didn't clear that. No, no. So the song actually didn't get released, the Tupac version of the sample, until 2004 when the sample was officially taken off. Because, you know, Prince is very sensitive about his music. <laughs> he don't He don't like... You know, certain songs sampled. He let George Clinton sample the song not too long ago, but it's you know it's up to Prince. It's his song. He does what he wants to do, right? All right, coming up, the Eddie Murphy fiasco from Saturday Night Live's reunion show last weekend. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you, so it kind of makes a little bit of sense. I'll do that coming up at around 2:08. We'll do that. Also on the way, let's uh, work in some confunction. Have that for you at 3 o'clock. Before that, we're going deep in the crates. Major Harris Love Won't Let Me Wait. The question has always been, who was that woman moaning in the background? You know who it was? Shirley Hemphill. That's what I was told. No, not really. <laughs> we'll get it all started, though, with Alicia Keys. That's all going down about 245. Thanks for making a big and right switch to old school and today's R&B 95.5.